Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Ivan Baggett has had a dream since he was young. When I was a kid, I was reading science magazines. They had articles that say, someday your house may be powered by the sun. And I thought, that is so cool. I'm going to do that one day. The dream first came true for the electrical engineer in 2007. He added more solar last year, as did a record-setting 37,862 other Floridians. Ivan added panels to charge his two electric cars. He posts his near-zero electric bill on Facebook. I do it, you know, to help save the planet that we're on. I'll do it to save money. And I do it because I had a dream of doing it when I was a kid. Solar contractor Al Simpler calls the record-setting 57% increase in renewable hookups over the year about time. We had a long ways to go in Florida. We're kind of behind the rest of a lot of states. So to see that kind of jump in Florida, the Sunshine State, is very encouraging. And we, that just means more people are educated. A 30% federal tax credit has helped fuel the growth. That tax credit expires at the end of 2019. There's also a growing number of customers for solar battery storage systems not captured in the numbers submitted by Florida Utilities. Ivan's calculated that he'll get his money back on his solar addition in about six years. Well, the panels will keep generating for several decades. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda.